Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Sims 3. And as you can see, little Dan's just got out of bed and is ready to start his day. So we'll just send him off to do some tasks. So you may notice the little uh, FPS counter up here. This is running because I'm currently playing this on my Mac. I want to see how the episode goes recording from my Mac instead of having to go into Windows. Um, only thing about this is the Sims 3 Mac version is terrible <laughs> because it's so slow and basically EA didn't make the game for Mac, it's running in like this like emulator thing. So yeah, that kind of makes it run quite bad. Um, which is why we have to wait a bit longer for The Sims 4, but it's fine. Um, but it just saves me rebooting into Windows, even though it's on the same computer. Um, it, it just saves me a like, little bit of time, if I can and allows me to do everything on my Mac petition if it works out well, so we'll see how it goes. Um, so we've got about F 20 FPS at the moment, and it's steady. It's not ideal. You know, 30 would be the ideal, but it is steady. So I don't mind it as long as it doesn't freeze right up. But we'll just see how this episode goes. Anyway, enough rambling. This is our final day in France, and I want to see if we can finish up another quest quickly and if not then I would very much like to um, go up to where they make nectar in France and see if we have enough simoleons to buy a nectar maker because I really enjoy making nectar um, in The Sims 3. It's probably my favourite feature from World Avengers. I'm so sorry that you just heard that um, noise of me drinking a cup of tea. Um, but Hey ho, it's fine. Be quiet, emails don't make a noise. Um, so, let's speed this up a little bit and get him to make his waffles and eat them up. Yeah, you don't want to starve. Awesome. Ooh, don't choke, please. Okay, I don't know why I'm zooming out. Let's zoom back in and see what adventures await us today in this world. What have we got? I am an avid amateur historian, especially in local history. Uh, right, so we need to interview them. Okay. Let's go interview. Um, hopefully this is quite straightforward. I love this um, moped that we've got here. Um, and actually, this is working a lot smoother at the moment than I thought it would. Um, you know, running at almost 30 FPS, which is very good, especially in like a world adventures world um, for Sims 3. I've probably cursed it now and it'll probably go down to like zero FPS. Maybe we should get a friend there. Uh, okay, so we got to actually build up a relationship with them first. Um, we can ask you to pillow fight if you like. Actually, no. Let's get to know you. And chat. That's probably an opportunity ringing away. Um, oh, shh, shh, stop ringing. Shush. Okay, so we need you to become friendly, or at least know each other a little bit more. Um, yeah, tell a funny story or something, maybe that will help. Is that enough? Okay, you have to get even friendlier, okay. Um, talk about the colour blue, you know, that's what everyone talks about. Play rock, paper, scissors, and... Compliment your home. Yeah, right, keep talking about all the colours you want to, and hurry up with this because we are wasting our last day here. Over twelve hours. Yeah, we're gonna have to hurry this up, mate. Are they friendly enough yet? Good. Yes. Let me tell you. And then we get the dramatic music <laughs> as we've managed to do it. Awesome. Now I'll zoom across the road. And report in. Off. Right, report to this person. In you go. Hello, new best friend. Yes, I would very much like to tell you about what I have just been told. Enter the library. Locate the papers and deliver them. So, let's go visit this place. And I'm just going to quickly mute myself while I quickly drink my tea. Sorry, one second.
I can't let the tea go cold because every Brit knows that a cold cup of tea um just leads to a you know it ruins your day. I get so disappointed if there's a cold cup of tea, <laughs> and that's the honest truth. Um, that will happen. Ask any Brit who enjoys tea, and if you don't like tea and you're a Brit, then I am very disappointed with you. Okay, so we need to enter this library. I'm guessing this is the big old library. Um, go through the door. It's locked. Maybe there's a way to unlock it. Aha, okay. Um, is that like a back door? Yes, there is, okay. Okay, let's try to disarm this. This is a great library, you know, it lets everybody in. Um, always good to know that you can get into a library when you need a book. Alright, can you disarm this? Awesome. We're good. Hmm. This is creepy. Oh, this is really weird. Really. Really weird. Okay, let's try this door. And see how it goes. Ah, there's something down here for us to interact with. Insert the keystone. Oh, oops. Don't die. I didn't notice that. Ouch. Oh, he could at least walk the other way. Um. Too scared. Fair enough. I understand. Your predicament. Um, yeah. I don't think we're gonna be able to finish this one. Can he change clothes? No, no. We'll send him back to wash up. That's a shame, I didn't notice that there. And yeah, he's too. He's got the fear mood. Actually, that will go down in a second. So if you go back into the library, actually, you should be okay. So you want to disarm a trap. Let's see if you can. Please don't. A crate trap is highly advanced. There's n no way you'll be able to disarm it. Aha. Okay. No way to disarm it. Let's try a different door then. Wish I knew that a minute ago. Use the stairs. Come on. Good boy. Up you go. I know you're burnt, but... You'll make your way there eventually. Your vacation ends soon. No keystone. Come on, use the stairs. Open. Maybe the keystone's in here. Oh my gosh. They appeared out of nowhere. Oh no. Oh, poor guy. He's going to be in such a state when he gets home from this um, so called hole. I think we have to give up the whole nectar thing. Um, because I think we can buy that any time. Oh gosh, attempt to cross. Please. Okay, no. And he can't really get back, can he? Um, so. A little update about the trip. Because obviously they didn't appear at first. We're kind of trapped. So, I can't actually allow us to escape this place. Um, so, yeah. I don't know how we're going to leave. There's no way you can slip past that trap. You can attempt to cross this one. 
You can at least hop back that way. So yeah, looks like we're gonna have to wait. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we actually have to wait now for the holiday to end. So you eat your dried food. Ah, oh, what a bad way to end the holiday. Ah, oh, we'll have to come back to um France to try and finish this quest in one piece. Um but at the moment we are trapped in this vaporizing room which actually would um, fail health and safety inspections. Yes, this vacation needs to end, like now, take me home. The magical sim gods, somehow, please. Return home. Ah, okay. Whew. Thank god. Okay, we're actually heading home now. So, <laughs> we'll quickly skip the loading part, and I'll meet you back in Sunset Valley. And it appears we have arrived back in to sunny um, Hidden Springs where it seems to rain every single day non-stop. Um, and yeah, we are back, um, traveling back home, and poor, poor Dan isn't feeling too good. Actually, it's all gone up now, and he's happy that he's visited that electrifying holiday. He also wants to travel to the future still, so maybe that's something we can do soon as well. Um, now, let's try and remember what, so he's in the business career, you know, he's almost got a promotion. So we're going to focus on getting him promoted. First of all, that would be a good thing to do, I think. And then, see what else we can do. But it have got like a relaxation period at the moment. Um, and where on earth are we travelling to? Okay, we're almost there now. After all that, we have made it back home, and we have got all the creepy stuff inside and outside still, which I'm going to get rid of. Uh, we do not... Oh, no, we need that. We do not want you. We do not want you. And we don't want you. I don't want you. Well, let's delete. Yep, don't want that. And I had better put all these into the bin. Poor old newspapers. Being abused and unread. Why haven't we got that? Oh no, must have got rid of that. Hmm. Uh, got the evil gnome. Let's get our mail as well. Let's see what goodies we've got in the mail. Let's got the letter from Katarina. I find you attractive, but I couldn't tell you in person. Um, thank you, Katarina. Um, thank you. Send a letter. We'll send some love letters out. To... Sure, we'll send one to you, Katarina. No, don't answer your phone. Ah, uh, look how happy he is. And it has magically gone into the letterbox. Okay, your plant is starting to go out. Oh, no, you haven't tended to your plants, and they're all dead. Whoops. <sighs> Better dispose of your garden, mate. And your toilet's broke. Everything's going wrong here. Okay. Oh, maybe not. It's door. Um, maybe I'll leave a bit and just see if it lets me eventually do something with it. Yeah, we'll give it a bit longer to see if it does let us. And if not, then we'll just have to dispose of them all individually. Which would be a shame, but it's going to be something we're going to have to do. And you are going to not call the repair technician because that costs way too much money and we're on a tight budget you know we've got the economic crisis credit crunch going on you've got to prepare yourself there we go you are now a strong independent person um and you yeah you best call someone maybe let's call 
Um, just to chat. We'll call our new buddy Katarina. Which will get our social up a bit, because social's kind of been on the climb where we've been focusing on all the stuff in um, France. Brilliant, we don't need you anymore. Go away. And uh, something's dirty in here that he's not happy with. Maybe the bath. Maybe that's the dirty thing at the moment. Hidden Springs. It's really given all with this rain. I don't want to venture outside because he'll just get absolutely soaked. Um, which is not nice at all. So he can cook up some goodies for us, I think. You cook them up in it, bruv. I'm really down. That, that is my way of being down with the kids. And why is the floor lighting up red? Okay, I was wondering for a minute there. Wondering what on earth that was. And I was getting quite concerned and scared. You've. Ugh. No. You been there. Is that your dirty sink? You can clean that too, mister. And you can try again. And you're not leaving this kitchen until you can make that in nice quality. We'll not have that in my house. All this can go in the fridge as well, in hope that he'll eventually use it with stuff. Carrots, we're not a good enough gardener yet. Um, bean seeds. Apple, oh, of course we've got all these random goodies that we can sell. Sure, I'll sell that. Sure, I'll sell you too. Um. Oh yeah, because we can sell all this random stuff, can't we? Um, for some nice pennies. Got a nice bottle of nectar as well. Key to library, has got diploma. Mm. Oh, I wish I could sell, that'd be nice. Okay, got some nice bottles of nectar as well, so maybe he can try some of that. If he's lucky. Did you burn it? No, well done. You've learnt. And you've now get food. So feel free to tuck on into that. And as the sim supply would say, get it right into you. Hi James. How's it going? May want to hashtag that as well. Hashtag get it right into you. And send it to the sim supply on Twitter. So if you do that, make sure you tag me in that as well. Because I think we need to get that hashtag trending. Yeah, get those cracking tunes going. Have yourself have yourself a bath. For some reason you need to pee again. Oh, he's really upset. Maybe nice to stay with be better. Don't just stand there. That's one thing I find with Sims 3, when you just leave it on fast forward, they can't just stand there and don't do anything which wastes time. So I think, um, especially after trying the Sims 4 cast demo, the performance in the Sims 4 is going to be so much better and will improve on aspects of the gameplay with things like that. It'll be really worth it. And you can get an early night because hopefully it won't rain tomorrow. Then we can go out and actually do something in this uh, neighbourhood because we have got the festival there still. And hopefully, as it's a Sunday, people actually come out to this festival and do stuff. That's what. Look, you just stood there all for a whole hour. Oh, the evil gnomes there. You can turn off the stereo, please. Thank you very much for your consideration. Ah, oh, of course, there's his... Uh, oh, it's winter now. Ah, oh, I don't know where the festival's gone. It'll probably disappear, won't it? Because it's uh, no longer full. Which means it will soon be Snowflake Day, a.k.a. Christmas. Is that aliens? Trying to work out what that is. Thank you for finding all the aging children. What is that? Is that aliens? Because I don't think that's that's not a unicorn. Or that just pretty lights. Okay, let's try and work this out. Where have they gone? Pretty lights, where are you? Aha.
Yes, I think that's an alien. It is an alien. Ah, awesome. So this is an eight. I never knew they actually uh, lit things up in the sky. Awesome. Have they just moved in down the street? No, they have not. They're just hanging around. Nah, look, it's so cute. Nah. Sadly, we're sleeping, so we can't see at the moment. Oh, and you flew away anyway. I have to keep an eye out for them, because I actually kind of forgot they were in the game. I love them when seasons come out, because I went around flying around blowing stuff up. It's so funny. Um, if you watch my seasons review, you'll actually see a bit of footage of that. Because um, I recently re-uploaded it to this channel from the old Sim Programs channel. Um, so yeah, I quite like that review on them. And it's raining. And I bet the full festival's gone. And the festival's gone. This is a very upsetting day. Hmm. Right, have some breakfast. And we'll get you started on your day. You can have some pancakes today. After your traumatic time in uh, on holiday. I think you deserve some treats to try and uh, make you a bit happier. That oh, was bad quality as well, that. Should have made him redo it. You are a pig. I mean, you're living in a pigsty. You're leaving everything dirty, everything's messy, everything's horrible. Oh wow, a walking umbrella. I've always wanted a walking umbrella. Oh, it's the newspaper person. I knew that. Why is it constantly raining? Okay, it stopped. It stopped. It stopped. Stop. 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 Can you tend to anything yet, or no? Oh, I think I've left them too long. Oh well, crossed up your plants. Nobody wants to anyway. So let's send him down to the gym. Get him to do something. Actually, there's a neighborhood pet adoption. Might have to go and adopt a cute pet. What can we adapt? 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 Ad adopt? That's the one. Hopefully, it's a cute cat. Come on. We want to adopt something shiny and fluffy. Fluffy things we want to buy you. And that's my email client again, of course. When I record, emails come flying through. Um, and they're still out. But I wanted to buy things. Come on. Please come back. Oh yeah, we'll make sure we put some lights outside the house. And yes, you can go ice skating if you like, since it's uh, quite chilly outside. And it looks like they've got horses. Oh no. That was a wild horse. So it looks like it's a cat. And this house still is not loading. Thank you. I need someone to hurry up home. Because I want this cat. Oh look at the kittens. Look at them. Magic cat and French fry. We're having magic. Affection. Feed a treat. Oh, look how shiny they are. Quit, let's walk in. Oh, they're so cute. Is anyone home yet? Oh, I'll have to come back later. But that is our cat. I want to steal it and keep it forever because it's cute and fluffy. But at least the weather has um calmed down a little bit. That's always a plus. Um, so let's make this house a little bit more festive. I don't think I have the Christmas stuff installed at the moment, so we can't really make it look Christmassy, which is a shame. Christmas lights, so I'd like them hanging and multicolored. Awesome. Chin the house is ugly. But we have got more pennies. Maybe we can afford a better house now. 
Hmm. Anything else I can sell? Yeah, we'll sell you. Might as well. Um, no. Money bags. Yeah, might as well sell them. Awesome. Let's see if we can move anywhere better. Because that would be awesome. Uh, move within this neighborhood. Don't just stand there. Uh, sell your furniture. House. Can we afford it? I don't think we can. I was kind of hoping there might be some better looking shack. Is this a better shack? I don't think so. I think it's worth less than what we've got now. Is this one any better? Two bedroom. A true gypsy hideaway. Hmm. I might risk it. Actually, no, I won't. We will stay here, just for now. Because I want to keep my TV and my random thing outside. I want to just keep it calm, just for now. <laughs> right. I'm kind of confused with what to do at the moment, because it's a really awkward day, because it's been on and off raining. I was going to go to the full festival, but no, that can't happen. Um, I wanted to adopt my kittens, but no, nobody's home. And I'm never going to forgive them. <laughs> evil. Evil, evil, evil. That's all I have to say to that. That's right, you've watched TV, you watch Sims Cast based. Oh, your fine is down a bit, so I guess, fair enough, you might as well do something. Um, what do you want to do? You want to watch? No, you're not watching a horse. Horses are evil. <laughs> They're not evil, but I don't like horses. I'm scared of them. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to wrap up this episode, and I'm going to begin the next episode at the beginning of uh, Monday in the game, um, so we can actually continue working and get that promotion because we are so close to it now. Um, it's going to be great. Hope you enjoyed this episode, guys, and let me know what you think about me recording on Mac. Do you notice much performance difference? Um, I think it's been quite alright today, so if you think it is, I'll continue like this. And I'll see you soon. Bye!